Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can set up personal access token in place of a password authentication that was removed last August 2021. GitHub has stopped accepting passwords for verifying Git operations on user accounts. If you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So let's go to the documentation. Let's sign in to our GitHub dashboard. Let's sign in. And then on the upper right corner on your screen, let's click on that and go to the GitHub docs. We will check the documentation and then let's search for token. And let's look for managing your personal access token. And on the right side, you can check the creating a personal access token classic and this is the steps we have verified the email address on step one and then on step two let's go back to our dashboard and let's click on settings and on step three let's look for developer settings let's scroll down and then on step four personal access tokens let's click that one so define grain tokens is still in the beta version let's uh, but in this tutorial i will show you the tokens classic let's click to that and let's generate new token generate new token classic and you can name anything you want here so let's say pat and then in this uh, presentation i will just put 30 days or maybe it's just seven days and we can select the scopes actually you can select everything here you can just tick those boxes and then generate token but let's check the out scopes and let's just scroll down so we don't need this one no scope but Let's check the repo. So it says here grants full access to public and private repositories, including read and write access to code, commit, repository invitations, and collaborators, etc. I think this is the only thing we need for now, but feel free to change the scopes based on your requirements. So let's go back to our dashboard and let's just tick this repo and scroll down generate token so make sure to copy your personal access token you won't be able to see it again so ensure that you copy this and save it somewhere so maybe in the password vault so i have copied that already and let's go to our home page and i i already created a repository 101 let's click to that and what we will do here is to um, perform a git clone so let's copy this and let's make sure we selected the https and let's go to the terminal so let's do a list so before that let's uh, configure the git config global user.name raise toolkit and then user.email raise toolkit at gmail.com okay and then let's copy again the uh, https link here and let's perform a git clone git clone and then paste it the url here and it will ask you for a username so our username is um, belray's toolkit enter and then the password is the token that we generated so let's copy it and then paste it here 
it's a success. So let's check. And the repository 101 has been cloned. So let's go to the directory. So the files has already been cloned. And let's try to add more files here. So let's do attach file one that yaml attach file to that yaml attach file tree that yaml and let's do a git status and uh, let's do a git add and then the dot sign so it will add those three files so let's do a git status again and these are the files that needs a commit. So let's do a git commit minus M. Let's say first commit and then enter. It's been committed. Let's do a git status and we can push this to GitHub. It, it will ask you again for the username. So bell raise toolkit and then again, the um the token is the password here so enter now if you do a git status everything is clean so let's go back to our dashboard here let's refresh and all the files has been pushed to github but here we need to type the token every single time and i don't want to do that so let's do the following to cache it. So um, let's do a git config global credential dot helper and then the cache. And then let's check the git config. So let's say let's go to the home directory. So let's set git config so the credential helper is now configured as cache so let's go back to the repository and let's try to add another file attach file for that yaml git status git add file for git commit minus m second commit per se and then git status, git push. Okay, it's still asking for a username. So let's say bell raise token and then the um, token. And then uh, let's check the dashboard. It's been pushed. So let's try again. Attach file five, the YAML. Git add file five. Git commit minus m. Third commit. And then git push as you can see it didn't ask for a username and password again so the succeeding um, files that you added here won't if you push it it won't ask you for a username and password because it's already been cached that's all for now thanks for watching